आर यू टेकिंग केयर ऑफ यूर टीथ आई ब्रश माई टीथ ढाईली ट्वाइस विथ कोल गेट इज नॉट एनाफ नो 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 दैट्स नॉट एनाफ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन सी देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ डूज एंड डोंट्स वेन इट कम्स टू ओरल हाइजीन राइट वी स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन मेनी अदर स्टफ लाइक इग्नोरिंग दिस बेसिक थिंग्स दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू कीप आर टीथ लाइक वाइट एंड हेल्दी फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड वी ऑल विल ईजिली एग्री दैट smile is the best ornament one can wear but still we are not completely taking care of it so this is very important guys so let's get started with some of the do's that we have to follow use electric brush let's first see the disadvantages of using a normal brush 90% of us don't know how to brush even if we know we have to do it mindfully and with attention who are going to do that brushing should be done in circular motions and it is advised that brushing should be completed in 3 minutes not more not less and then it is further segregated into different sections right 30 seconds for each of the section of your jaw line it 30 seconds for this part 30 seconds for this 30 and 30 so it completes to 2 minutes in the last 1 minute is to clean up your jaw line the entire jaws up and down and in and out should be cleaned in that 1 minute so completely it's 3 minutes and that's a perfect way of brushing are you doing that even if you follow all these things you should be brushing your teeth very mindfully which is impossible so on the contrast let's see with electric brush the main head moves in circular motions so that you need not think much all you should be doing is holding your brush against your teeth and it does the job automatically as it is fast you can easily finish in 30 seconds and last cleaning the parts of the gums is also very easy just hold it against your gums and that's it the perfect brushing is done and using this electric brush is very easy guys it's advisable for children from more than 3 years to old people it's that easy and don't think it's too pricey or something no it's not costly than your awesome smile So trust me go for a electric brush you won't regret that guys and also one more important thing the size of the paste that you going to use it should be like a peanut size that's it tongue clean 90% of the foul smell that comes out of your mouth is because of your uncleaned tongue yes because of the bacteria and the food remains that are there on your taste buds on your tongue plag and all this stuff will be formed and gives you a very foul smell so you must clean it every single time when you brush your teeth there are multiple options for you like copper silver stainless steel and plastic tongue cleaners but i prefer copper tongue cleaner because of its antibacterial nature but yeah you can choose from one of those and it's very important guys dental floss even you're following all the above good things still there is a scope for uh, you know food getting stuck between your teeth so that creates a lot of problem because of that only most of the people get cavities and the uh, you know teeth caps and all of these things so flossing helps in removing all the bacteria plague and food between your teeth so that it reduces the chance of tooth decay and resulting problems mouthwash mouthwash is used to kill bacteria in your mouth it strengthens the enamel it demineralizes your teeth and it soothes your ulcers if you have any ulcers it's better to use a mouthwash so that it soothes that and also it's very good to uh, you know reduce the bacteria around that ulcer it prevents gum diseases and give good smell what else we need so these are the basic do's guys there are a lot of things that we can still do it but these are the basic so if you are good with these you are 90% good with your oral hygiene now let's go to don'ts never brush your teeth immediately after having food why enamel the hard part that is covering your teeth will get damaged if you do this if you brush your teeth immediately after eating because whenever you eat your food right the acid level in your mouth will increase and because of that the teeth your teeth are like in their weakest point at least for 30 minutes or 1 hour you should wait you know our saliva has a good property of reducing this acid level and coming to a good balance and after that you can brush your teeth but i 
prefer you do a mouthwash after having your food so that all your dirt and stuff will be coming out and also you will have a good breath don't use a toothpick let it be your plastic or a you know wooden one it's not advisable to use a toothpick because you know in the process of cleaning your teeth you'll end up having small scratches and tears on your gums which is not at all good and sometimes when you're using this wooden toothpicks these small small particles of this uh, toothpick will get stuck into your teeth and that might cause a lot of problem uh, regarding your tooth decay or cavities and many more things so instead of that use dental floss guys if you think something is stuck in your teeth use a good dental floss and get the work done biting your nails eating pens and opening vessels or bottle caps with your teeth guys if you are such a person who is doing this please stop it it's the worst thing that you can do to your teeth and if you are biting your nails and eating your pens guys you are getting all the dirt and bacteria straight away into your mouth which is not at all good so please stop that okay let's go to some bonus tips eat close occasionally i love close because of the smell that i get from it i love it it is very helpful for your gums it numbs the ulcers you know it reduces the swelling of your gums if you have any so these kind of many many advantages are there with close and i personally love close because of the smell that you can get from it it acts as a mouth freshener it will be refreshing and awesome if you are having close every day you know stick to like one to two close that should be enough because having more of these is also not good second thing you have to eat some you know stronger foods like sugar cane things like that so that will increase your teeth strength third one guys is very important and the last point brush twice a day you know i need not say this but still i'm saying brush twice a day once in the morning once before going to bed after your dinner so that's all about this video so try to follow these guys these are straight away from my experience and from my usage of these products and i love them guys don't think much if you want your teeth to be good and healthy these are some basic things that you should do for you teeth right at least you have to maintain it in a good way and then expect something out of it if you're not maintaining your teeth in a better manner and you still expect it to be good that's not going to happen do let me know your views and if you have any second thoughts or any questions in the comments and you can also ping me on my instagram this is my insta handle so that i'll reply you back there and thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and family so that it can be helpful for them and also do like this video so that it'll motivate me and let me do more and more of these videos and thank you so much for watching see you in the next one see ya